that looks so janky, man. She's okay, but her leg is scraped. Her leg looks pretty fucked, actually. Any broken bones? Everything still work? You guys okay down there? I'm okay. So, what's next? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Copy that. We'll wait up here by the radio. Here. An old lighter. I gotta be honest, the traits updated thing in the top left is really throwing me off a little bit. Hey. After you. Looks like we're in the lower levels of the ship. Sick bay. Oh, this is where uh, we we first met, jo where Joe first met the the dead guy. I definitely should have explored more, but I was just too scared. Uh, Brig week twenty-seven, Monday. Arthur Miller. <laughs> Arthur Miller. Arthur Miller, private, petty theft one, day brig, one day brig, small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker, items recovered and returned to owner. Wednesday, David Davis, <laughs> private, trespass two days, brig, found off limits in cargo, hold 3A with no reasons to be there, flagrant disregard to orders. Friday, PFC, Lewis Brand, public intoxication one day, brig, found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Robert Reed, public intoxication one day, brig, found drunk and acting improperly, okay. So, Arthur Miller and David Davis, huh? Saturday, Charles Anderson, private public... Okay, oh, that's Charles, that's Chuck Joe and Joe. In the sick bay. So, yeah, so now we're taking place. What's that? Hello? So, it looks like there was some sort of... Faint and this Charlie went to the brig. In that, in that private Charles Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is it, the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl and steps were taken to ensure both men were returned to their ship. Ten day sentence. <laughs> Must have been a big fight. It really wasn't. Where's Julia? Oh, a bunch of redacted stuff. Medical officer's report. Minutes between minutes of meeting between scientist X. Does it just say X? It does say X. Scientist X, Walter Bishop, and CWO Tom Palmer, with Sergeant Peter Wood observing and N X for meeting with our team and says we can mutually learn. For the same thing, the Western world must be protected. The United States has been aware of certain agencies investigating the Chemical and biological agents in warfare are act limited by Geneva Protocol have experiments we are unable to. Describes an investigation during to test the effects on human subjects of the molecule crystal structure hallucinogens codenamed Manchurian gold chemical munitions battle. I was right. No one's actually going crazy. It's chemical warfare. The U.S. Army was experimenting with chemical warfare, and Chuck and Joe, uh, and in that, those big those big crates had all of the the chemicals in there. And then Chuck and Joe were caught off guard in the beginning, and the whole ship went down because the chemicals got struck by lightning. Oh my God! I was totally right. If we ever get out of here. So the only I real I threat. I hope you're right. Am I ever wrong? So the only real threat are the actual dickheads. The pirates. Oh, this is the sick bay. That would also explain why Joe saw a vision of a little kid, because it looked like his son, which I did think from the beginning. Might have been the son of someone on board. 
And that would explain why Conrad saw the pinup girl and why everyone else is experiencing things differently. Let's see. Private name John Patterson, rank private. Oh, patient name John Patterson, rank private. Born Ro Rolet, Texas? Is that a real place? Date February 24th, 1922. Enlisted or appointed Garland, Texas, March 2nd, 1941. Total service, Army, three years, five months. History of case, diagnosis, mild neurosis. Disability is not the result of his own misconduct and was incurred in the line of dute. And existed prior to enlistment? No. Present condition, fit for service. Probable future duration, temporary. Recommendation that he be closely monitored and referred back to medical checking in one week. Facts are as follows. I saw Private Patterson today who attacked, who attended sickbay. During that visit, I observed signs of severe distress consistent with evidence of panic I observed. Um, evidence of panic I observed in the same soldier during his watch duty earlier this week. I requested Patterson see me today as I believe his panic to be accompanied by vivid and disturbing memories. In the past, he has managed to continue his duties as symptoms appear to alleviate after his guard shift. He claims these symptoms are very unusual for him. Everything is coming together. Wow. Jesus. That's also why everyone's experiencing things differently on the ship. It's because everyone is going through their own... Psychosis, I guess you could say. Like, everyone's experiencing something different because everyone's trapped in their own head. Huh, I've been here before, I think. Maybe I shouldn't have dropped down yet. Maybe I shouldn't have dropped down yet. I'll take a look. Look, down there. I think that's the engine room. Could oh, I think I've. Mm. Right? Let's find out. Hmm. I feel like I saw oh, a premonition shit. in this area. No more ladder. I can drop the rest of the way. Wait. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Fine. Come on down. She shouldn't have done that with her leg. What's up? Oh. You didn't fucking see that? Right. No. Of course you didn't. Um, hello? Yeah, I think I'm actually seeing clearly for the first time in a while. Nothing jumped out at me. So, the ship was carrying Venturine gold. There we go, Alex. But that turned out not to be gold at all. It's a toxic chemical. And there's this weird fog everywhere, right? Well, maybe that's Venturine gold. And maybe we're breathing it in and it's fucking us right the hell up. That explains why sure we were fine above ground. I cannot believe. And maybe I was right not to believe it. I was hallucinating. I guess it makes sense, though. We know the crew were scared shitless of something. Yeah. We are all seeing this crazy shit going down, and they all thought it was real. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I don't know. It seems like the plane came in contact with the ship, but it's just a theory. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. Okay, now that, okay, so I'm also going to predict right now that the first thing that we see is going to be a fake thing, and they're going to try to confront it. Van Linden Engine Works, Rotterdam, Netherland, diesel engine number 1734, year 1920, type L87CSE. Uh, the first uh, strange thing that's going to happen next, everyone, uh, I'm going to be, you're, it's going to give the option to do either yes or no. And I'm gonna say, yeah, go for it. It's not real. Yeah, it's not real. Go for it. And then it turns out to be like Olsen. Big loop for a lot of nothing. I haven't seen anything I was able to interact with. There. I found it. Oh, thank God. And it's working. How? Yeah, this is it, all right. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. I'm gonna get a lot. I'm gonna get shocked. Okay. Let's get back up there. We'll have to find a new way up. <sighs> listen, listen, we're back. Can you read me? Do you hear me? Are you hearing us? Over. 
We've been kidnapped, all of us. And there are things trying to kill us on this ship. Over. Recovery mission is on route to your location. Over. Oh, nice. Oh, and it fried. Come on, work, you piece of shit. Oh god, the lantern. This game's real buggy. Hey. Oh, the dive this? suits. The rebreather. The l fucking lantern. I bet the fisherman brought it from the Duke. You think it still works? Uh, it's got maybe a few minutes of air left. Worth taking with us? It's just gonna slow us down. That's what I was thinking. Not worth the risk. I'm gonna need it. No. No. He's got a knife. Oh, he's gonna die. Not out of the danger zone yet. There's the distributor cap. Seeing that guy still move. He's running with a sledgehammer. No. God, I'm so gonna die. Did I fail one? I think I... F I don't know if I failed one or not. Fuck that. Fuck him. I don't care about him. Where's the distributor cap? Final memorandum. Top secret. FAO Corporal Stephen Harding, USA and military base. Corporal Harding, the shipment of caskets unloaded earlier are specialized cargo. Oh, shit. He's coming. God damn it. We need to go. Shit. Why wouldn't it let me get the distributor cap? Oh, I think I just killed everybody. There's no use oh, it's in his hand. You little foot. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? Fuck me. You can't have all the gold. And I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain. I am in control. And I am the one that says who goes and who stays. Ah. I don't like those at all. Then stop talking. You have an escape plan. The look in that guy's eyes. Even two on one zippy. I say we run. Run! Fucking run! I'm ready for these quick time events. I wouldn't be able to stay there. Holy fuck, lock it! This is gonna hold? Or do we need to start running? 
running again. Run. We're good. Hurry up. Hurry now. Oh. Okay. None of you move. None of you go all changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Ah, shit. He's got a gun. Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said, no changing. Just put the gun down. Nobody has to get hurt. You think I wanted to hurt anybody? I didn't get a choice in this, did I? It's in you too, isn't it? Isn't it now? Oh, God. Am I going to get out of this? Ah, not again. It's all gone changing on me. What? What's changing? Stay away. Stay back from the mist. Hey, there's no mist, man. Don't breathe it. Don't breathe the mist. What mist, man? You... You must have seen it. It's everywhere. Yellow creeping everywhere. I've, I've definitely seen it. It's inside now. Inside with us. Now. Please, just calm down. Stop. Stop. It's in one of us, isn't it? I haven't breathed any weird mist. Please, I promise. You totally have. Yeah, you breathed in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Dude, there is no mist. Ah! Oh! I was hoping he was just going to off himself. Damn it, I was so close. I think I've got like 15 minutes left in this game. Son of a bitch. Pick up the gun. And if this at all follows the, the same my same playthrough as until dawn, about 3 more are going to die before I finish this game. <laughs> Okay, so that's three dead, including two of the hijackers. This way, I guess. Also, wait. Oh, come on! It's like that fucking movie with the ship in the, the water. Way less dancing. Does he mean Titanic? Don't I get a stunt double at least? Ah. <sighs> Fuck, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. There's 472 rivets in this room, which can only mean one thing. I've been in here way too long. Hey, is anyone hurt down there? Shit, I gotta go ahead. No, you don't. don't I? We gotta go make sure everyone's okay. Shit. Well, what's our play? You're gonna stay here with the radio. I'll go after them. What if something happens to you? I'm a big boy. This is my mess, and I'll clean it up. I'll be standing by with the radio. Good luck down there. Ah, oh, he's gonna see Julia's body. And he's gonna get trapped in the same room with Olsen. Oh, it's different. I'm given an option to drop down, which means that there's something I can miss. But I don't see anything, so I'll drop down. 
There's the mist. Uh, God damn it, I got Julia killed. It's fake, it's not real. It's not real. Just have to remember that, like, virtually everything right now isn't real. Oh, there's a picture. Huh. Who the hell was that? I'm gonna walk this way. Uh, there's something in that locker. really don't want to die. To all field officers, the scale of our search and recovery missions across the area have yielded results far greater than expected. Unfortunately, there is now a shortage of adult caskets. If you locate the remains of any missing persons at the water purification plant, you may have to use the smaller caskets. I guess they'll have to be Hawkins. Poor bastard. There's almost nothing left of him. I know this isn't ideal, guys, but they'll have to give him a proper funeral and the respects he deserves once we, get back, once we got his body back home. We'll just have to make this work for now. Not real, Connie. It's not real. God damn. How the hell big is this place? Oh, this is where um Fliss and Brad did their thing. for my fucking QTEs. Hey, it's cool, man. We're cool. We can talk this out, man. We can bond over how much we hate this boat. Connie, stop talking. Really? So you think that's the best solution here? Was there Alex? Oh, shit. Don't do this to me. Right as the QTE happened. Come on, Alex, help! Uh-oh. Get out of there! Come on! 
Easier said than done. God, I haven't needed to do that in a while. Connie, come on! Froze. You gotta get out now. Now. What happened? My game just froze. It froze again. Oh. Well, he's dead. So there's no one. None of the hijackers oh, are alive. Shit. Now that's what I call a close shave. Now he has to tell Conrad about Julia. Let's blow this joint. Yeah, I'd take the sledgehammer. Or I guess don't. Gotta be so close. God, what did what did I do differently that would have saved Julia? Was it just like saying there is no mist over and over, just pissed him off and he shot someone? Four of them. Was that it? All right. Let's try it. of the game. I should have been there. You were there. She died. You were there. Maybe I could have done something. Maybe you were literally been... right next to her. Did they just like program one ending cutscene for each of them, for each member of people that was left? So, like, regardless of how she dies, that cutscene would have played. Well, that was the game. Uh, Man of Madon, that was really good. Uh, I have a couple complaints. Uh, the game... Oh, is he gonna say anything? Uh, 
That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again. See if you can't do better next time around. I'd probably do worse. Impressive. Almost everyone survived. Almost. Almost. Yeah. I suppose when the curtain falls, you're either ready for it or you're not. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. I wonder... Huh. I, there had to have been a way out. Also, I never saw the person that Till was in that last again. picture. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope. Maybe somewhere else. But be certain. We will meet again. Yes, we will. It's inevitable. Oh, is he deaf? So I skipped the credits simply because I didn't want to have music in the, in the outro of the video. Um, God damn it. Ten minutes. Oh my god, he's alive. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Like, that stab wouldn't necessarily have killed anybody. But I just assumed he was dead. Um. Ten minutes, man. The last ten minutes minutes sent out an SOS. Guess we got a real life ghost ship here. They're gonna see Olsen's body. No, the caskets. But are, they, so are they gonna shoot each other or something? Whoa. What the hell is this? Olsen's like right there, I think, right? What the fuck? Holy fuck. Oh, so it's the same with Josh where he kills the guys at the end. Whoever it was, they're gone. Oh, this is the trailer for the next one. I fashioned her with my own hand. Excuse me? Okay, you caught my interest. 2020. Hopefully, Q, late Q1 2020. Maybe early Q2. That's what I'm hoping for. So yeah, this was uh, The Dark Pictures, The Man of Medan. Uh, it was good. I wouldn't say it was great. I wouldn't put it at the level of Until Dawn. But I think it was pretty damn good. Uh, there were problems, definitely. Like, there was a lot of visual bugs, some sound bugs. The faces just didn't look real sometimes. Mostly Julia's face didn't look real. But, story was good. Not Again, not great. But it was only, like, four hours long. They could only hold so much. 
But yeah, that was the Man of Medan. Uh, this won't be the last of it on my channel because there is a curator's mode. But before I do that, uh, this weekend I'm getting some of my friends over and we're going to all do the big, um, the big group story, I believe. So if you're interested in that, please consider subscribing. Uh, it'll probably be it'll probably be up around early next week, probably Monday or Tuesday. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And I hope you have a great day.